All right, so today I want to show you guys a completely free to play way for you to gain a bunch of power in Marvel Future Fight. I dare say this is the easiest way to gain a bunch of power in Marvel Future Fight and you don't need to spend any money and it's going to take you less than five minutes to do it. I beg your pardon? Sounds like a dream, but this is reality. So let's jump into it. It's going to take me a little bit more than five minutes to explain it to you. But once you know what to do, it's only going to take you about five minutes, maybe less to get this done. And before you know it, you're going to be looking at some sweet, juicy new stats, whether you're a brand new player, free to play, or a giga whale. You lying? Shout out to my Alliance members, John, Casey, Gas, and Sim for putting your boy on game. Let's get it, man. So you're going to jump in. You want to jump into the arena. You want to go to other world battle. And you want to structure a team of five characters, your strongest five characters. It don't really matter because it doesn't matter if you win or lose. All you got to do is do five fights. Whether you want to do auto progress and set this bad boy to five or if you want to search for opponents manually, find people and then fight them. Don't matter. Once you fight five times, you want to come over here to the battle pass and you're going to see a bunch of different challenges for the daily, weekly and seasonal. And you want to collect all of these bad boys from your fights, from the daily, weekly and seasonal rewards. You're going to get these things called swords. And that's what we're going to be leveling up in this video using the ruins of the unknown and you can get a lot of them from the seasonal event missions as you can see right down here one of them is going to require that you buy a buff from the shop so you want to come over here you want to go to battlefield shop and you want to buy one of them whichever one you buy is completely up to you i have another video coming right after this where we're going to talk about the best buffs so stay tuned if you want to make sure you make the most out of these warrior tokens because they're extremely rare and extremely valuable but you're going to need to buy one of these buffs if you do that you will have exactly what you need to craft four of the six swords that you need so do keep that in mind if you want to actually buy a second or a third buff that will put you in a position where you can get all six of the swords and then you'll be looking like this my g's okay look at all of these nice juicy stats that your boy is rocking with i'm gonna show you how i got here i just want you to see the end result first and i'm gonna walk you through it step by step 328 am flashback you open up the x of sword tab and you're gonna get greeted with this new page right here that says manage swords you're gonna go here you're gonna click on enchant and as you can see over here i have 700 of these ruins of the unknown this is what you're gonna be using to level up your swords and as you're leveling up your swords you're gonna be getting different colors on them in addition to the colors you're gonna get additional stats okay so right there the first one gives me increased basic damage dealt to inhuman characters that might come in handy for some game mode in the future but as of right now it doesn't do much for us but we're going to keep leveling up these swords because every time you level it up you're going to get additional stats so it says decreased basic damage received from enemies with the machine ability increased damage dealt to alien characters that's going to help you in world boss machine characters not so much right now as you can see, gives you some instinct. So if you've been playing the game long enough, you know that tier four characters benefit a lot from getting additional instinct. So you definitely could use as much instinct as possible. And this is gonna apply to all of your characters. Additional fire resistance, that's gonna help you against Mephisto. So you wanna come over here and you want to work on these swords as quickly as possible additional order so as you do this and you get up to six of these stones on your sword then you get the ability to awaken the sword and when you do that the color of the sword will actually change you have a few different options for the swords so as you can see i have a scarab sword here now i can actually equip this sword it's gonna basically buff all of the characters in my roster with the additional stats from the sword and then i can come over here and i can do that five more times now i can do it five more times you will only be able to do it for a total of four times unless you want to buy more buffs from the shop or farm more aggressively but from doing your first five fights that gives you enough of these enchanting stones to basically create four swords right off the bat i personally recommend that you guys buy a second buff to get the additional runes of the unknown but i'm going to show you guys why you may not want to do that because ooh, okay we got three of the same color that's actually really good so 
I believe the more of the same color stones you get on the sword that dictates the outcome when you awaken it. So we have three blue. That should give us, I believe, I can't remember which sword it is, but it's going to be a blue one. Yep. Okay. Dexterity sword, soul sword. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, basically it's RNG right off the bat for which sword you get eh, depending on the colors that you get but want to come back and you want to do that as many times as possible up to six let's see which sword we get here and then i'm going to show you guys why you may or may not want to go for six swords day one you could take it a little bit slower get four swords and save some of your warrior mementos because if you want to get six swords day one for additional stats which again it will help you because you're getting a whole bunch of different stats we will buff you in pvp so if you're struggling in timeline to get additional wins the people who are not paying attention to the system well they're gonna get left behind so you want to get ahead they're gonna be hitting you in pvp and wondering why are they doing less damage against you and if you were struggling to clear giant boss raid dormammu or galactus or um world boss legend gore or what have you now you can do a little bit more damage if you were running out of time before let's say or let's say you were dying against mephisto some extra fire resistance not gonna hurt you if anything it's gonna help you keep that in mind if you're somebody that plays alliance conquest if you're somebody that plays alliance tournament all of these game modes will be affected by these swords now if you get multiple of the same swords it's up to you if you want to actually equip them let's see what we get here so we're going to get i believe the psionics blade because it's a bunch of pink yep so this is um betsy's sword so so far we've only got one of each which is really good because i'm not really going for a specific build day one the goal is to just basically get six swords equipped get the additional stats so that you're not falling behind that's the goal let's see buddy what we get for this one okay one more okay so we got another scarab sword i'm not gonna equip that because i want to see if i can get another sword and then actually maybe i'll put it on thing is it's marvel future fight and to unequip stuff usually cost stuff I'm not too sure what the cost is to unequip these swords. So I'm going to show that to you guys in a second. I wanted to do this live with you guys. Okay, let's see. Sword of the Unknown. This is going to be a yellow one because we got three yellows. Okay, this is this is good. We're going to put this on. I wanted to have one of each. So we're missing the stamina. We're missing the green sword. So we need to get three green. Okay, let's see how much it costs to take it off. Okay, so it's the same as a CTP which means in the future there will be discounts to remove these now the reason why i said for the majority of you guys you may want to stop at four swords is because if you go into the other world arena and go back to the shop what you're using to get these buffs are these warrior mementos and these warrior mementos are actually really good because they're the ones that you use to purchase ctps odin's blessings swords or other materials over here which we'll talk about in another video anyways ladies and gents i'm gonna wrap the video right here leave me your thoughts in the comments hopefully this gives you guys some insight regarding this new sword system how you can level up the swords how you can acquire swords and how you can get a lot of additional stats because as you can see from me just equipping these five swords i actually got a 15 percent overall attack boost to all of the characters in my roster in addition to a whole heap of sub stats which is a long read buddy so yeah, 15% all attack, 6% physical, we got energy damage increase, additional pierce damage decrease, energy attack, a thousand instinct attack, which is actually crazy. Just take a look at this for example. A six star artifact for arrow only gives you at base 250 instinct. Now, if you level this thing up, you can get over a thousand. I believe it goes as high as 1400. So my Jean Grey right now, I have her artifact. And as you can see, I have 1100 on it. However, I'm missing three levels because the max level is 20. And all of that was done within a matter of minutes. So you guys, make sure you get on this. 